Hey guys, it's Peyton, and I am starting off my second vlog for Jackathon. I don't know how many days will encompass this one, but I did end up posting my Jackathon day one vlog just because I already had a lot of footage and thought I would go ahead and post it. So it is currently day two. It's around like 6.30 at night. I haven't really updated yet so far as you can tell and yes my shelves are such a terrible mess my whole room is a terrible mess and i just straight up do not have the energy to deal with it currently and it's unfortunate because i feel like i'd feel better if my room was cleaner but nah so my current read is the prince and the dressmaker by jen wang and i'm like about halfway through this I didn't really read up until I got back home from school today and it's a graphic novel so it's another quick read and I will definitely be finishing this tonight before I do my homework most likely too and I'm super into this one so far. I'm loving the illustrations and I will go ahead and tell you what this book is about. This prince, they're non-binary. They use he pronouns in the description but i'm still not really sure if that's how sebastian wants to be addressed it hasn't really come up about pronouns in the book so i'm just gonna say they just to make sure and they end up recruiting this dressmaker or this tailor or whatever a seamstress a seamstress okay they end up finding this seamstress and getting her to make them some beautiful gowns and stuff to wear at night because they are a prince but they're hiding this other side of themselves that they're non-binary and that sometimes they feel more like a woman and then sometimes they feel more like a man and they just don't really fall in one category and that leaves them wanting moments where they're having pretty gowns like all these girls that are out there and so it's super cute we have all these designs being made of beautiful dresses there's this one that we've had so far and i really loved it like here it is this yellow bright dress it just looks so good in it i really love all the drawings and i'm like into fashion even though you probably can't tell because i don't have the money to just go buy every outfit that I would ever want, you know? But I have a taste and I will appreciate it on other people. So I think it's super cute and I love, I love learning about different types of things. So I'll watch like baking shows, fashion shows. Like I've watched freaking tattoo, like freaking making shows. I don't remember what they're called. But I'll just watch like documentary stuff, like real life reality stuff. I like to learn about different types of people. So this one has been super fun so far. I just love the illustrations. This really wouldn't work as well if it wasn't a graphic novel because, you know, you want to see it. Like in a novel novel where it's just words, you would only get the word descriptions and it just wouldn't fully impact you as much as these beautiful drawings. So, so far I'm really enjoying it. It's halfway through and I'm kind of scared because... I just really like them so far and I don't want Sebastian to like get any crap from their parents because their parents don't seem like they'd be the most accepting of this and they're kind of in hiding over their feelings right now so but I'm really liking the friendship that's going on between the prince and the dressmaker it's super cute and I just want to continue on so I'm gonna go read this and I'll probably update you after I finish it. I'm just super into it so far. And I had a reading party with my boyfriend earlier. So here's like a little picture of us. I always like screenshot our FaceTimes. And he's reading Catching Fire. He's halfway through it. So cute. And I was reading this. So ah, it's just so fun. I can't wait to read more of this. I need to do it right now. here with another update it is around like 8 30 ish and i can officially say i finished the prince and the dressmaker by jen wang 
And I think I'm going to give this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It definitely gave me all those fuzzy feelings inside. Just really loved the friendship between these two characters and the way it ended. It just made me really happy. It like got a little bit sad and then it got really happy in the end. And I just think this is something that people should pick up if you're interested in graphic novels but I feel like you should just give it a try anyways it was really well done in my opinion and can we just look at this one dress oh my god the beauty <laughs> it's so pretty so yeah I don't have much more to say about this one it's just it was really good it was cute very quick and fun and I definitely recommend it to any of you guys who want to pick something like this up. So my next read that I need to tackle for the rest of the entire week, so probably for this whole vlog, is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. And I haven't started it yet, so hopefully by sometime tonight I will start it. I do need to do some homework now. I have some readings for class and I could do more work, you know, when things are due later in the week and you should work on them early, but then you don't. That's me right now. So I probably won't work on them early and procrastinate it. That's just how I do my life over here. But basically I'm right on track. I need to read this book in at least five days and that's like 85 pages a day which is not too bad. I feel like I can handle that. So I feel like I'm pretty set for the rest of this readathon already. Before this readathon started, I was actually currently reading A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. I'm not very far into it. I'm on page 76. So if I do finish Nevernight early, I will probably pick this one up. And I also haven't mentioned that I've been listening to an audiobook before Jackathon started, but I'm still currently listening to it. And I'm probably about halfway through this book now. It's Cress by Marissa Meyer. I have the audiobook and I've just been keeping up with my bookmark, but I'm definitely way further now, probably halfway, and really enjoying my reread of this. It's super cute and fun. Like, oh my god, if you don't know anything about the Lunar Chronicles, it's just fairy tale retellings with a sci fi twist in the future of these people that live on the moon and. Oh, I just love this series so much and I haven't read it since middle school and now I'm a freshman in college so it's just about time for me to re-experience these books and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And then A Gathering of Shadows is about alternate Londons and there's magic and everything. I'm not going to explain too much into it because I might not even pick this book up this week. So we shall see. That's the update for now. I need to go do some homework. So wish me luck. <laughs> hey guys, it's day three of Jackathon and I've barely read at all. And it's like 10, 15 at night. I did homework. I worked on a video that I need to get up on Friday. I'm currently reading Nevernight and I'm on page 17 in this book. And I need to get to page 85 by tonight. So if I just really force myself to do it I can do it like I know I can do it but this book is already like really slow going and it's kind of confusing currently I don't know if I'm just stupid or what but so far I don't really understand what's going on and I don't know if it's going to change currently this might not be the best pick for a readathon it's just super dense so far just a lot going on that I don't really understand yet so maybe I just haven't wrapped my mind around it or it's supposed to be confusing I don't know but I really need to read tonight so I'm gonna read for a bit maybe till 11 and then I need a shower I just have a bad feeling that I'm not gonna be able to finish or get to page 85 tonight just knowing how slow I read and how slow this book is taking me I have a bad feeling, but I'm going to try my best, guys, because I do not want to fail. I've done so good so far, and I want to finish this book by the end of the week. So we'll see if I do it. Hey, guys, it's Peyton. I'm back for another update. It's the fourth day of Jackathon at like almost 10.30 at night and um I'm on page 38 <laughs> of Nevernight. This book is just so slow going. 
the words are kind of small and I already kind of read slow to begin with. So that's not like the best decision I've ever made for a readathon book. And there's also footnotes. And if you know what a footnote is, it's when they'll star something in the text and then you go to the bottom and there's like a whole paragraph explaining the thing that was starred. And that's just making it take even longer. I don't know if this was the best choice. I already feel like I'm definitely gonna fail because Thursday and Friday, today's Thursday night. These are the most busiest days of my week so far because I had the most homework due these days. I just finished homework and everything. So I'm going to attempt to read more of this book tonight. But yeah, I think the daily goal of 85 pages is pretty much out the window. I'm just going to try my hardest to read as much as this book as I possibly can before the end of Jackathon. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because, you know, I have college. I have stuff that I need to worry about more than finishing a book within a week. So nobody's going to kill me if I don't finish this book in a week. I need to let myself feel free and not have to make this not a fun time so yeah i'm basically just going to try to read as much of this book as possible and try to read during the times where i would go on youtube which i've already failed with today because i've been watching a little bit of youtube before homework and stuff i could have been reading but you know it doesn't always happen that way but yeah i'm going to try my hardest to read now i need a shower and everything but pretty much i've gotten everything i needed to done so i will try to read as much as i possibly can so i'll let you know i mean i'm not hating this book right now it's just since it's so slow going right now i'm kind of frustrated and i'm super confused by a lot of things going on so far so I'm just hoping this book starts to get clearer because I feel like the narrator is trying to be confusing and suspenseful and keep information from you but at the same time I'm really confused and I'm trying to read this quickly and I can't really do that because I really have to pay attention so I can figure out what is going on. So yeah this was not a good decision but I still feel like I'm gonna enjoy this book in the end. It's just definitely not a book that I can just speed read. I have to take my time with it which is unfortunate for a readathon but I'll try my best. Hey guys, it's like 12.30 in the morning, I guess. And I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I didn't read tonight. I have more honesty coming. Also, sorry about my ring light. But basically, never night. I think I'm gonna put it down for now because I'm like 40 pages into it and I just gotta be real with myself. This book is so confusing for me. For some reason, the writing is so dense and like really descriptive and like there's going from flashbacks to present like without any explanation and I'm just like what and it took like 30 pages to find out the main character's name and I don't know I'm just confused right now it's a book with a lot going on and I just don't feel like right now during a readathon is the time for me to read this and I'm not even that worried about like oh I need to finish a book you know like this is a low-key readathon. I'm not like panicked to read a certain number of books. It's just currently like I didn't pick up this book tonight because I just was not wanting to read it and I do not want to be in the middle of a book that I'm not wanting to read. You know like I just wasn't feeling it. I'm just thinking about how much I don't want to read it. Like I was like oh I really need to read for Jackathon tonight. Oh I really don't want to read Nevernight. So I just think that's a sign. I need to pick something else up. I want to give this book another go eventually. It's just, I don't know. I Brittany told me that she heard that this book is really slow in the beginning and then it gets better for people. So maybe it will for me. I'm not honestly into it right now. And it's kind of sad because I really thought this book would be like this crazy, amazing adventure from the start. And I know it's only 40 pages, so I'm sure it gets better. It's just right now, like, this is not the right book for me at this current moment. Basically, I'm going to pick back up A Gathering of Shadows by B.E. Schwab. I'm 76 pages into this. I mentioned it earlier in this vlog. And I stopped reading this because Jackathon started and I just put it on hold until the end of the readathon. But this is the book I actually really want to read right now because I really enjoyed the first one. And I just can't stop thinking about this book, so... I'm just gonna do this and I don't expect to finish this whole thing just because it is really thick like this is not a readathon read either but I would like to get a good chunk of the way through this book throughout the rest of Jackathon and I haven't been mentioning it but 
I have been listening to Crest by Marissa Meyer on audiobook. I'm currently on page 359, so I think I should be able to finish this by the end of this week. I've listened to like a lot of it this week. I don't remember how far I was at the beginning of the week. I listened to it on the way to school and it's like a 30 minute drive. I get like a good chunk of it done every morning. So I should be able to get a lot more progress on this one. And this is a reread for me and I really am enjoying my time with it for sure. So yeah, that's the update. I really need to go to bed because I have a big presentation tomorrow that I'm really nervous about. I'd like do a reading and like come up with a paper that I would present to the class talking about the reading and like analyzing it and there's one of those every single day of class someone does one and they always sound so smart and I just don't think mine's good <laughs> like I don't think I'm gonna sound smart like all these other people do and I'm just so worried my professor's gonna just be like what the frick was this? You have to ask a question to the class and people have to answer it. And I'm like, my question's stupid. And I just couldn't come up with a really good, like interesting question. So I'm worried he's gonna be like, what is this question? You know, like, oh my God, I need to shut up. This vlog is probably so long. Maybe I'll cut it into, I don't know, but I'm just like, <laughs> I need to sleep so I can feel good tomorrow, but I'm sure I'm gonna be just as exhausted, but it's gonna be Friday and I only have two classes that are only 50 minutes long each it's my shortest day of the week i get off at 2 50 so looking forward to that <laughs> and then having a nice weekend i can talk to my boyfriend so yeah i'll talk to you later hey guys it's peyton and it is the final day of jackathon day seven and let me just be completely real i didn't read any more of my book <laughs> like i didn't read it all i didn't read friday i didn't read saturday I just been kind of like wiped out though this is a lie I have been listening to my audiobook and I did finish Crest by Marissa Meyer I just forget that like I read whenever I just only listen to an audiobook all day but this one was a five out of five stars for sure I really really enjoyed my reread of this I think this is my favorite one in the series but you know there's a one more book left in the series so I need to confirm that but I've just always felt like this one was my favorite. Just so much action. And it introduces one of my favorite characters, which is Cress, the title of the book. And I love Cress and Thorn together. If you've read the series, you understand Cress and Thorn. I just love them. I really relate to Cress. That's probably why I like her the most. Because she's just so anxious and like awkward. And I just, me as a middle schooler, I definitely related to that. Especially because she's like never like had any romantic fling of any kind before and then she like meets thorn who's like one of the hottest guys ever and she's just like she instantly is like oh, you know i understand where she was coming from is basically what i'm saying and i have been doing reading i'm such a liar i'm 140 pages into the next book which is winter and this one's like 800 pages it does not look like it because they use freaking bible pages on this book which is just wrong because you don't see like how much you freaking read. But yeah, I'm 140 pages and I started this book literally like last night. So I felt like I haven't been doing any reading, but let's be real, I have been. This is my fourth book of the readathon and this one's my fifth one. As a recap for the readathon, the first book that I read for Jackathon was Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars, I think. I feel like that's generous, but I just really enjoyed my time with it. The second book that I read of Jackathon was Mooncakes by Wendy Zhu and Susan Walker. I believe I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars, and I have a whole reading vlog of me reading these, so go check it out. I'll put a card if I remember. And then I read The Prince and the Dressmaker during this readathon by Jin Wang. I believe I gave it a four to five stars as well. And then I read like 40 pages of Nevernight. I never even explained that book. It's about an assassin, I guess. Like I'm still confused by what I read and her parents were killed and she wants revenge. That's basically what I got from that. But I also have A Gathering of Shadows. I didn't read any of this during the readathon, but it's my current read that I'm gonna continue on with. <laughs> so great and i already talked about crests in winter so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really enjoyed jackathon like you know i could still do more reading for the day for jackathon but i probably won't let's be real i have homework 
might read a little bit of Gathering the Shadows, but I just feel like I should go ahead and get this vlog going so I can upload it and everything. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like it, comment down below, have a good day. Please subscribe, make sure to follow all my social medias, which are linked down below, and go click the bell button, which is right by the subscribe button, which you should have already clicked. Also, let me know how you did with Jack of Vaughn, if you participated, and goodbye.